हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नो द मेकेनिज्म ऑफ दिस प्रोसेस इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट इन प्रो कैरियर्स एंड यू कैरियर्स सो इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी हैव टू स्टडी द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन प्रोसेस इन प्रो कैरियर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्शन इन or the process of transcription in prokaryotes okay so transcription process in prokaryotes now when we consider prokaryotes so mainly we have to consider bacteria and during the transcription the mrna is synthesized in prokaryotes or we can say in bacteria there are three types of of rnas three types of rnas the first type that is known as mrna the first type is known as mrna that is messenger rna and the messenger rna mainly codes for protein or we can say polypeptide right the second type of rna is known as trna that is transfer rna now the transfer rna is mainly useful for translation process okay that means trna mainly perform the two functions the first it brings amino acids and second it reads genetic code code during the process of translation and the third type third type of rna that is known as r rna that is known as ribosomal rna okay so the third type is ribosomal rna and when we consider ribosomal rna so ribosomal rna mainly catalyze okay the important function during the translation and therefore we can say that the r rna play structural and catalytic role in the process of translation okay so why we study the types of rna because transcription means the synthesis of rna so in prokaryote mainly there are three types of rna mrna trna and rrna and all these three types of rna are synthesized okay by a single enzyme and that enzyme is known as dna dependent rna polymerase so here the enzyme which is responsible for this synthesis okay that is known as dna dependent rna polymerase so in prokaryotes this single enzyme we can say that the single enzyme catalyze the transcription or the synthesis of all types of rnas right so in prokaryote 
the one single enzyme that is DNA dependent RNA polymer is responsible to catalyze the transcription of all the types of RNAs. Now here we have to discuss the structure of this enzyme. So when you consider the structure of RNA polymerase, the so structure of RNA polymerase mainly made up of 5 subunits and these 5 subunits okay, mainly form the core of RNA polymerase. Now RNA polymerase is, is one type of enzyme and the enzymes are proteins. Okay, and the core protein of this RNA polymerase, core protein which is also known as holoenzyme, this core protein is made up of 5 subunits, made up of 5 subunits and these 5 subunits mainly includes 2 alpha subunits, 1 beta subunit, 1 beta prime subunit, and 1 omega subunit right that is RNA polymerase has the core protein which is made up of 5 subunits 2 alpha subunit 1 beta subunit 1 beta prime subunit and 1 omega subunit now we have to study how this single enzyme catalyzes the transcription process We can describe the transcription process by the major steps of the process. So here the steps of transcription process. Now the first step that is known as initiation. The second step that is elongation and the third step that is known as termination so there are the three major, major steps of transcription process that is initiation elongation and termination now what is called initiation so initiation means when we consider transcription units so in transcription unit the first part of a transcription unit is promoter. Now mainly this DNA dependent RNA polymerase first binds to this promoter site okay, and initiate the process of transcription. Elongation means it catalyzes the polymerization okay, by considering the temperate strand to form a stretch of or long strand of RNA. And the third step is termination that means when RNA polymerase reach at the terminator site of your transcription unit then it terminates the process of transcription. So here the one question arises how this all the three steps is carried out by a single enzyme. So main function of the enzyme is elongation and the causing the unwinding of DNA helix. But for the initiation and termination okay the some other factors are required by RNA polymerase and those factors which are responsible for initiation and termination are sigma factor and rho factor respectively. That means when the RNA polymerase binds with sigma factor then it causes the initiation of transcription process and when the RNA polymerase binds with the rho factor that is termination factor okay then it causes the termination process right so here to understand this whole process we have to first draw the dna molecule so let that is the dna molecule right and consider that is a transcription unit now in transcription unit okay mainly there are three distinct regions are there so here consider the first one that is the promoter right because we know that there are three regions the first one is promoter the second one is structural gene and the third one is terminating region or terminator 
so here consider the first one is your promoter region and we know that the out of the two strands okay only one strand act as a template strand so here first write down the polarity 3 dash and this one will be 5 dash and that is 5 dash and 3 dash now obviously the strand which has polarity 3 dash to 5 dash is act as template strand so here consider that is the template strand so we have to mainly focus on the promoter terminator and structural gene on template strand so consider this one is the promoter right so consider that is the promoter on template strand the remaining okay consider that is the structural gene consider that is a structural gene okay and consider that is the terminator okay and here represent the hydrogen bond between the both strands of dna now represent your rna polymerase enzyme or represent the core protein of your rna polymerase so let that is the rna polymerase okay so this enzyme is rna polymerase now when this core protein of rna polymerase okay binds with which one sigma factor so let this one is sigma factor okay then this sigma factor containing rna polymerase now binds with the promoter region okay and it causes the unwinding of helix okay and then it initiate the second step that is elongation so here again represent the dna molecule okay let is 3 dash 5 dash 5 dash 3 dash okay again represent the all the unit promoter then structural gene okay and terminator so first here when the sigma factor attach to the rna polymerase and this rna polymerase okay binds with this promoter region okay and it causes the initiation process okay so this one that step okay it represent the first step that is initiation right now as this rna polymerase with sigma factor binds with promoter okay then it causes the unwinding of the helical structure so here we represent here the promoter your structural gene okay and terminator 
so now this enzyme okay cause here the unwinding of this helix okay and it now read the temperature strain okay and cause which process polymerization reaction okay and here at this side okay now this enzyme okay cause which reaction polymerization and for polymerization reaction mainly this RNA polymerase use RNA polymerase mainly use nucleoside nucleoside triphosphate triphosphate as substrate as substrate okay and it also mainly worked okay based on the principle of complementarity that means here it adds the nucleotides okay based on the complementary nucleotides of template dna okay then here what happened the short stretch of rna okay always by remains okay attached to these enzyme that means the small strain of rna as this elongation occurs okay the small or short stretch of rna remains binds to this rna polymerase so to represent this elongation process again take the closed loop Again, represent here your promoter structural gene and your terminator. Now, for example, during the polymerization, now suppose your enzyme okay is now read and reach at this site along with your initiation. So here always suppose here the new RNA which is synthesized we represent okay this RNA in the form of this brown color so always the short strain of this RNA okay by always remain bounds to the RNA polymer so this one is newly synthesized synthesized RNA okay that means these two steps okay mainly describe the second step that is elongation now during this elongation when this rna polymer is now reach at the terminator region promoter that is structural chain and let this is terminator okay now during elongation now consider here now your rna polymer is okay reach at this termination site or terminator site at that time what happened now the sigma factor okay is detached from the rna polymerase now at this time okay again your rna okay is remain attached to your uh, rna polymerase that means this is also newly synthesized rna but as it reach okay at the terminator site what happened the another factor that is known as termination factor or rho factor So consider 
this is the rho factor which is represented by this symbol rho factor or which is also known as termination factor now when this rna polymerase binds with rho factor or termination factor at that time what happened now this rna okay is fall off from the rna polymerase as well as rna polymerase also detached from this dna that means after that after that process okay what happened now this newly synthesized rna okay is fall off from the rna polymerase and also rna polymerase okay detached from the dna molecule so that means now this is considered as the newly synthesized rna and your rna polymerase detached from the dna strand okay and that step okay is known as termination right so these are the major steps of transcription process that means first what happened the rna polymerase binds with sigma factor and then okay it causes the initiation that means it in binds with the promoter region and it initiate the transcription process now as this rna polymerase binds with promoter it causes the unwinding of dna and then okay this dna rna polymerase okay causes the polymerization reaction by using nucleoside triphosphate as substrate and here also this elongation okay work based on the principle of complementarity that means here if on this temperate strain okay base pair uh, sorry nucleotides a is adenine is there then it add uracil if thymine then it add adenine so mainly this polymerization also work okay based on the principle of complementary now during this elongation okay always what happen this newly synthesized rna is remain okay attached or bound to the rna polymerase but as this rna polymerase okay reach to the terminator region then what happen now in place of sigma factor the another factor that is rho factor binds with rna polymerase and it causes the falling of rna from the rna polymerase and detachment of rna polymerase from the dna so by these three steps okay now what happen the rna is synthesized based on your sequence on template strand after transcription this rna undergo the process of translation now mainly in eukaryotic organism in eukaryotic organism the transcription and the replication takes place okay within nucleus but for translation okay what happen this newly synthesized rna okay now transfer from nucleus to cytoplasm where the translation occurs but in prokaryotes because okay the nucleus is not present all the process that is replication transcription and translation okay occurs within cytoplasm and because of that in bacteria many times the translation can begin much before the mrna is fully transcribed and therefore we can say that the transcription and translation okay can be coupled in prokaryotes or in bacteria if you have any doubts regarding to this lecture you can ask me in comment box thanks for watching video